one of the famous stories about this movie is involves the ending and the fact that there was debate on the set over whether the ending was too sentimental, whether it would that work. That was me. That was me. I said, look, I, I, just, I went to Taylor and I said, we were going to shoot this thing the next day. I said, Taylor, come on. We're never going to use this. This is the dopiest ending. We did this really tough movie and, you know, come on. And he said, yeah, I know, but yeah, it's in the Why don't we just shoot it? We're, we're going to be here. Why don't we? We'll just shoot it. And Did you, you think know, it would be in the movie? We, after we shot it, I still didn't think it would work. And ironically, the, when, when we, the early cuts of the film had different music on it. And it didn't work. For me, it didn't work. Mm. And, and then it was this music, but a different tempo. And it didn't work. And I came in to see one cut that had this tempo. And I got chills in the back of my neck seeing it because everything was right all of a sudden. It was something about the tempo of the music brought everything together. The question is, is he stunned at how big that movie became? I'm stunned I'm sitting here right now. <laughs> <laughs> that I have a career that's actually made some things that touch people. You know, I came from a very simple place. So the fact that my life has had this arc to it, it amazes me. But that movie, look, you, you, can't, you can't make that movie. A movie like that has to happen. And it's... Uh, look, you, you guys are not fools. You know, there's 400 people working on a movie. And if any one of them screws up, the movie doesn't work. Hmm. And for whatever reason, that all came together. The, the, the magic potion mix of that story with Gary Marshall and Julia and me and everyone else, and it just came together. It had the right tone. It had a quality. We got along, all got along in a certain way. It, it just found its place, but probably of all the movies I've made, that's the one that wherever I am in the world, in whatever culture I'm in, <laughs> I believe me, any culture, whether it's deep Asia, it's Borneo, it's Europe, it's South America, it's Antarctica, it's wherever it is, that movie has spoken to people. And again, why, I don't know. And again, you can't, there's no magic formula you can follow to make that happen, it's, it's a piece of pure magic. Well, that was the most fun, for sure. Chicago was, without a doubt, the most fun I ever had making a movie, without a doubt. Wow. And it was, it was just at the right time, too. It was like I was, my son was just born, and, and we were getting along so great. And, <laughs> and, um, and it was recalling the time, my early career, when I started a acting in New York, and I was doing musicals. And, and it was just, and, and Rob Marshall was such a, uh, a skilled and generous director. It created an atmosphere that was so loving and open and creative and fun. Just fun. It was just pure fun, beginning to end.